Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over some updates on the new car market because, well, it's doing the exact opposite thing as to what the used car market is doing. It's pretty crazy. Before we get into this video, though, as always, if you're going to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Let's get into it. So quick note at the start of this video, normally I somewhat edit these videos, but I don't have time for that tonight. And so this is gonna be more uh, unedited. And so yeah, the uh, flow is probably not gonna be as good as a normal video, but tomorrow we will just go back to our normal content. So anyways, February of 2023 saw new car prices decline to 48,763 on average. That's a decline of 1.4%, $705 from what we saw in January. And so again, new car prices are coming down at the same time that used car prices are going up. And so what we're seeing is these prices are coming down because of dealer discounts and then also because of manufacturer discounts as well. Incentive spending increased by 3%. The average um, incentive on a vehicle was $1,474, which apparently has not been seen since March of 2022, which doesn't really say much because, well, that wasn't exactly a time of uh, low car prices. But anyways, if we look at the graph here, you guys can see, right? We have the huge like exponential rise in prices and now we currently have a little like dip there at the top. And so obviously new cars are still extremely expensive, but again, pricing is starting to come down. Whereas again, if you watched yesterday's video talking about the used car market, then you know that, well, used car prices were coming down and now the graph is going back up. And so, yeah, that's definitely, uh, I guess it's a good thing with new cars, but it's a bad thing with used cars. Now, um, a year ago, the average transaction price um, was $1,000 over MSRP on new cars. Whereas right now, um, the average transaction price is now under MSRP on most new cars. And so people went from paying over sticker on average to now they're paying under sticker on average as well. However, what we are seeing is a complete split in the market between luxury and non-luxury. So the average price paid for non-luxury, this is crazy, $44,697, which was a decline of $681 compared to January. And so you can see that the non-luxury are having a pretty big hit, whereas on the luxury side of things, not only are sales up, um, but you're not seeing nearly as uh, big of a price decline. Sales are still up by almost 20%. So uh, January saw sales up by 20% roughly, and same thing here in February as well. So again, this shows a split in the market. Non-luxury cars, they aren't really selling unless they're really affordable. Whereas luxury cars, I mean, they're selling so well. And the crazy thing is the average price of a luxury car uh, 6,005, or sorry, 6,000, $65,534. That is actually down from January, um, $644. So if you look at this, non-luxury cars decreased in price by a larger amount compared to luxury cars and luxury cars are already more expensive. So the percentage decline in prices with non-luxury versus luxury, much larger. So yeah, again, it really does show the shift in the market. Now, the interesting thing here with this report is gonna be on electric cars. So the average price paid for an EV declined by over a $1,000. So this is the biggest decline in price that we've seen in the market. The average new EV sold for $58,385, which again is right between luxury and non-luxury. And this is why we said the EVs are basically luxury cars. And so we're starting to see again, the cracks in the EV market where, you know, obviously Tesla's released a bunch of uh, price decreases and everything and everyone else is starting to follow suit as well. And so, yeah, it's, it's just, everything's pulling down in the new car market um, right now. And so here's the next big thing is going to be the average transaction price and then average incentive spend as well. So you guys can see here with the two graphs how they kind of intersect. So basically what this graph shows is as car prices increased over the course of the pandemic, incentive spend decreased, but now we're starting to see car prices come down and then incentive spend increase. I mean, that makes logical sense, but that's just exactly what's happening right now. And so pulling everything together with today's video, and again, like I said, unedited, so this is not gonna be as watchable as a normal video. 
New car prices across the board are decreasing, but it's not all equal. Uh, uh, EVs are decreasing at the highest rate when you look at the percentage and then just the dollar amount, whereas luxury cars are having the smallest declines because there's a lot of demand for luxury cars. And again, I feel like that shows, you know, the split in the market of the haves and the have nots, right? You have the average American, which is getting crushed in this current economy because well, when you have high interest rates and high inflation, then for the, the average American, right, their spending power decreases is a massive amount and they can't take advantage of these higher interest rates like right now this is just you know anecdotal right now if you have like money you can go out and you can make a lot of money on that money um, for example my lending institution is offering a special certificate of deposit rate of 5.25 percent for 12 months so just by having money in the bank right now you can make over five percent on your money and it, that's guaranteed right that's completely risk-free but if you are again the average american that doesn't have that much money in your savings account or really any money in your savings account then you can't take advantage of that and all that happens for you is that again if you want to buy a car interest rates are higher and everything else like everyday goods those also cost more as well and so you're just not in a great situation and so i think it makes complete logical sense as to why these luxury cars are not seeing the same price declines and why we're seeing so much demand for these luxury cars. Because right now, will rich people still feel rich and the average person does not feel rich anymore like they did over the course of the pandemic when you know everyone was getting stimulus checks and everything. And so it'll be interesting to see how this market continues to, I guess, go through the next few months but you know my personal guess is this trend is going to continue we're going to continue to see these new car prices come down and we're going to continue to see used car prices go up because again even though used like you'd think that they would both go down at the same time used cars are still far more affordable than new cars because of how much new cars have gone up in price over the last you know year year and a half roughly and so new cars would have to decline in price by a pretty large margin before people start going oh we should probably buy new instead of used because the prices are going to be you know so similar to each other so i want you guys to let me know what you think about this overall trend with again new car prices increasing at the same time that used car prices are are decreasing and what's your game plan for this situation because again this is a market that you know if you're in the right position you could take advantage of it because you know if you find the right new car with the right incentives and the right dealer discount and you have a car that you're trading in i mean this is this market is basically becoming more and more advantageous for you because you'll get more for your trade-in and you'll be paying less for the car that you are purchasing and so and like i said interesting market anyways that'll sum things up i'll see you